What's good everybody, I'm Birdie Assassin and this is the Daily Drop for January 14th, 2021. Two days ago, Lucasfilm Games was announced to be reborn. The day after that, Bethesda announces a new Indiana Jones game in collaboration with Lucasfilm Games. The day after that, Ubisoft announces a new Star Wars game. Like seriously, what the hell is going on here? This new Star Wars game from Ubisoft is said to be a narrative focused open world action game not unlike what they already make with Assassin's Creed. Ubisoft has stated that this is the beginning of a long term collaboration with Disney and Lucasfilm Games. The development team heading up this new Star Wars project is Massive Entertainment who works on the Division franchise. This also means that they will be utilizing their own in-house gaming engine which is the Snowdrop engine which is a very powerful gaming engine for this type of game. With this though, a lot of people did speculate that the EA contract for Star Wars exclusivity was terminated. This however isn't true. Lucasfilm Games went onto the Star Wars blog earlier today to announce that their relationship with EA Games has never been stronger. They also said there is a number of Star Wars projects still being worked on with the EA teams. Along with this announcement, they did say there will be more to be announced later on in the year. So what else could we possibly see coming from all this? A How the Duck game from Activision or maybe a Red Tails game from Rockstar Games? Either way, it looks like Lucasfilm Games is here to make a big impact on the gaming industry. New news from the Pokemon company regarding the Pokemon 25th anniversary. They announced they will be teaming up with Katy Perry to headline a year long collaboration to produce music for the 25th anniversary. The Pokemon company was very vague on the details, but said it will be done with the help of Universal Music Group artists. Along with the announcement video, the Pokemon company also released a picture of the pop star with a Pikachu tail, because apparently the electric mouse Pokemon is her favourite. And finally, in streaming news, former Overwatch pro player XQC was the most watched streamer on Twitch last year. The Canadian was watched for almost 149 million hours on Twitch in 2020. The closest to him was Gauls with only 129 million hours watched and it just keeps plummeting from there. So it just goes to show if you're a toxic asshat that has a big community that likes to shell out death threats to smaller streamers you can really go all the way. Yes, I am referring to the incident on the offline TV Rust server as well as many other issues that a lot of streamers have had with the Canadian Twitch streamer. This is including Summit 1G, Shroud, Dr. Disrespect and Valkyrie. I mean, if you're toxic enough to piss off the dog, then you've really got to go and take a look at your life. And that's all we have time for today. Don't forget to go to gamerfield.com.au to use code BirdieAssassin at checkout to get 10% off your next order of G Fuel. Hopefully I'll see you here again tomorrow and don't forget to stay safe and keep gaming. I'll see you next time.